What's up? I'm Brittany, and today we're going to talk about how I became such a book snob. So, growing up, I had no issue going to a library at all. I loved libraries. Free books all the time, all you had to do was bring them back? Sure, whatever. I read like crazy. And then, I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. I have a whole story about that, but I'll save it for another time. But, so, then I started buying ebooks. But something about ebooks wasn't good enough for me. It wasn't that I wasn't reading them, it's that no one could see how many books I had read. Like, they weren't sitting on my shelf, so I was like, well, how does anyone know that I'm a reader if they can't physically see the accumulation of things I've read? So then I started getting only physical copies of books, but I was fine with a paperback copy, even a used paperback copy. For example, oh, my copy of Twilight is all messed up, all crinkled, all folded, like this thing's destroyed. But no, all of a sudden that's not good for me. I need pristinely nice paperbacks, the best looking paperbacks I could find. But then I'm realizing that no matter how careful I am with my paperbacks, they're still getting all messed up. So then I turn to hardbacks. And I can't go back. Sure, I can still read a paperback if I have to, like if I'm really trying not to break the bank, I'll read a paperback. But I would so much prefer to own a hardback. Uh, when did that happen? Why am I such a book snob all of a sudden? Like, I... It's just frustrating to me. Because I used to be the kind of person, as long as I was reading, I was reading, I didn't care. But now all of a sudden, like, oh god, I need hardbacks and they need to look pretty on my shelf. I was at BookCon and I was talking to this man about... I had bought... The movie tie-in edition of The Darkest Minds, because in the description for the signing it said she'd be signing the movie edition, but I hadn't realized you could get the original edition as well, so I ended up going and swapping it out, and the man behind me in line asked why I had done that, and I said, well, it looks prettier, and if you buy the rest of them, they look really nice on your shelf, like it lines up, and he's like, why do you care so much about what your shelf looks like? And I was kind of like, I don't... No, because I used to not. I had books strewn across my room. I didn't care. It was fine. And now I just, I'm a spoiled brat, I guess. I don't know if it was BookTube or Bookstagram that made one have really nice shelves and really nice book copies. Because, like, I, no one else was looking at my shelves. No one's really allowed in my room. And the people who come up here don't give a rat's butt about what my shelves look like or what my books look like. No one cares. I was at BookCon. And I was letting my boyfriend read my copy of the Mortal Instruments, but it was my nice edition copy, not my old used edition. I was watching him like a hawk, like, don't fold it that way, don't move the book too much, you're gonna hurt it. And he was like, why does it matter? It's a book! And the funny thing here is, I used to watch Cass J. Tuck's channel, and she made a video about how she went to London, and she had dog-eared her page, and some lady flipped out on her, and the whole conclusion of the video is, let me do what I want with my books. I felt like that was fair, and I was like, oh my god, who would even care that much? Like, if you look on my shelf, I've got some dog-eared books, but now I won't do it. I'll use anything, anything, before I dog-ear a page. I don't know why I do this. When did I turn into such a book snob? How do I make it stop? What do I do? help.